Hey, I'm Ellie from Awesome EVs and today I'll be showing you a realistic recharge of my EV. So just how I basically fill up my car with petrol. Well, this is the way I fill up my car with electricity. So firstly, let's check out the stats of my car and then we'll look at the time and the price it takes to charge. So today my battery's at 54% and I've got 265 kilometers of range, which means that's how far I could potentially travel now with the rest of my battery. Tomorrow I'm driving to Brisbane though, so I need a full charge to make sure I can get there easily. So let's charge up. I'm planning on doing a tutorial at some point on how to charge using an EV charger from start to finish. So like how to sign up to get an account, use the app. Just let me know if you like that in the comments. But for now, the main thing we need to know is it's 125 kilowatts DC charging. This icon matches is my charging port. It's available. I'm going to take number one. Now I've been using an EV RFID card which is like an NFC card that you tap just like your credit card to start this charge. Take this out. But I've been told that now EV chargers just remember your car. Okay. They are really heavy and pretty hectic to put in. If you struggle with mobility, that's one of the difficult things about charging an EV. I think it's more difficult than if you were to top up a petrol. So now it says tap your card. Successful. You can hear the charger starting up quite noisily. How many kilowatts are we gonna get today? Going up. Come on. Yes. So it's putting out 89.2 kilowatts. Oh, it's just dropped back down. I'm surprised it's come back down to 60. But what you can see on screen here is the battery percentage of my car and also the time I've been charging for. So in the EV app, it tells you similar stats. Here you go. It says I'm charging, how long it's going to take. Today, I'm charging at 73 cents per kilowatt hour with this fast charger. And I'm going to set my stopwatch here. Go have some breakfast. My car's done charging. I need to hurry up. That was a bloody lovely breakfast. By the way, thank you to all the views on the last video. It went so viral, I even got haters. And the craziest part was that they were all trying to slam me for how long it takes to charge my car. They were saying, oh, it only takes three minutes to, to fill up on petrol. Like, what? Yes, it does take around 20 to 40 plus minutes to charge an electric vehicle at a public charger. But joke's on them. My favorite way of charging is at home and that takes like 20 hours to charge. <laughs> In all honesty, when I read comments like that, I just have to assume they're bots because I, this is a self-inflicted chore that I have to wait 40 minutes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. And thank you for upping my view count. <laughs> you know what's annoying? I had to rush my meal to make sure I was back on time to get my car out of this park because I want to make sure it's open to all so no one has to worry about waiting for me. If only my meal could have been quicker. Ugh, how annoying. <laughs> Double press your unlock button on your car keys usually to take out the charger because it will lock into your car so no one can mess with it. Put it back, make sure it says thank you, have a great day and it goes back to available and you are done. So the stats are, it took me around 15 minutes to go from 50 to 80%. And if you don't already know, there's a courtesy in the EV community that you don't charge past 80% at a public charger if you don't definitely need that charge. And that's because as per battery chemistry from 80 to 100%, it takes a lot longer to charge. So overall, I actually charged for around 40 to 45 minutes to get from 50 to 100% in the end. But usually anywhere under 80%, it's quite a quick charge. Don't forget to put your little caps back on once you put the charger back. All right, let's be real though. I am a little bothered that that took longer than expected. I thought this would be a fast charger. It didn't even charge much faster than the previous charger I used, which is slower. And I know you guys kindly think I'm an EV expert. I'm still getting there. So I have had to Google why that's the case. And I have found an article on EV's website that explains potentially why it was slower. It can be to do with the temperature of your battery. And also my findings were that sometimes a charger will say it's got like 125 kilowatts of charge, but its true output is actually like 20 to 30 points less, which is wild. What, what? <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot to it. I'll leave the link in the description, but if anyone wants to explain it to me, I'm happy to learn. I wanna know. It's new technology, new ideas, new science. <laughs> and I'm a nerdy geeky person. I just enjoy trying new things. So all my videos are really just to share my experience and give you a perspective from some fresh eyes and a woman's perspective as well, because 
Yeah. <laughs> I think I haven't gotten to the point though, and that's how much did this cost? So today it was $23.88. I don't know if that's particularly a good price today. I don't feel like that was the best value I've gotten. But right now I'm just stoked because my car is fully charged and I'm gonna make a trip to Brisbane tomorrow. Guess what I'm doing? I'm checking out the Kia EV3. So if you have any questions, I need to hear them ASAP because I will only have a day with this car. Usually I get a bit longer, but this is a quick one. Oh, and before I go, massive thank you for 1,000 subscribers. Heck yeah. If you have any friends or family who don't understand EVs or are considering getting one, just share awesomeevs.com with them and they can join this cool club. That'll take you directly to the YouTube channel. So it's nice and easy to remember. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.